In this video, we're going to share with you our top tips for traveling in a motorhome in Scotland. We traveled in a motorhome last September to go around the North Coast 500, and we're now traveling in a camper van around the Isle of Skye. So pretty much everything in this camper van is the same as a motorhome. So for the purposes of this video, we're going to use the term motorhome, even though we'll be showing you everything in a camper van. Before we start, we wanted to bring your attention to the Scottish Outdoor Access Code, in case you've never heard of it before. So the code is based on three principles, which are respecting the interests of others, caring for the environment and taking responsibility for your own actions. There's detailed guidance on various activities, so we've left a link in the description below for more information, and it's important to always follow the code when traveling around Scotland. Now, let's get started. First up, make sure you learn the general procedures and how everything works before you first set off. If you've never traveled in a motorhome before, it can be tricky to remember all of the different procedures. Some essential procedures to know include how to connect to a mains hookup, how to turn on the gas, how to turn on the hot water and heating, understanding how long it takes for the hot water to heat up, making sure the fridge is always on, how to empty the toilet cassette, understanding how full or empty the fresh and gray water tanks are, and how to fill up the fresh water tank. Next, remember what to do before driving off. So remember that driving a motorhome is not the same as driving a normal vehicle. So there are a few essential things to do before driving off. And the most important thing is to turn off the gas. You should never ever be driving a motorhome while the gas is still turned on. Make sure also to turn off the hot water and heating. Also put everything that's sitting loose like on countertops or tables away because otherwise they'll go flying once the motorhome gets started. And also make sure to close all cupboard latches, doors and windows so they don't go flying as well. Also do a walk around the motorhome to ensure that if you're using the antenna that it's down and that compartments, stairs and awnings are properly stowed away and locked in place. And also make sure that the power cable and any hoses are disconnected. Next up is to be careful of your side mirrors while reversing and on single track roads. So needless to say, a motorhome is much wider and longer than a normal vehicle. And not only that, many motorhomes have these massive side mirrors that jut out quite a bit. And wrecking the side mirrors is the most common way of losing your deposit if you're hiring a motorhome. So if you are driving along a narrow road and about to pass another vehicle, roll down the window and manually pull your mirror in to avoid accidentally losing it altogether. Also be careful when reversing in the motorhome. Your best bet is to have one person stand outside and guide the driver since it can often be tricky to gauge how far back you can keep going. And probably the most important thing is that if you are not from the UK and or you are not used to driving on the left side of the road and or single track roads, please familiarize yourself with this first and foremost. Many single track roads in Scotland are curvy and or hilly and passing places take at most two to three normal vehicles and only one motorhome. So do not tailgate other vehicles while on single track roads. Next up is to take short and snappy showers. Even though traveling in a motorhome is considered a luxury in the world of camping, it's definitely not comparable to the endless hot showers you might be used to at home. So because water is not endless in a motorhome, turn off the water while you're lathering up and then turn it back on to rinse yourself off. You'll save water and your quick shower will stay hot. And last but not least is to make use of your motorhome's levelers. So your motorhome should come with two levelers, which look like little ramps. And these come in handy at campsites where the ground or grass is not perfectly level. So just pop the levelers under the necessary tires and drive over them to the desired level. It can make a big difference while you're inside, especially when it comes to water drainage. These are just five of our top tips on traveling in a motorhome in Scotland. And we have five more tips in our accompanying blog post, so be sure to check it out. The link to that is in the description below. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know your favorite tip by commenting below. And be sure also to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video. So next up is to be careful. Pull your mirror in to avoid accidentally losing it altogether. I almost made it. Also, put everything that's sitting on cupboards, oh, sitting on cupboards.